Hi, my name is Satish. Uh, some people know me as Indofunk because of the band that I led in the early to mid 2000s. I play a very unusual brass instrument. It's called the Firebird, and a lot of people have asked me about it. You know, what is this thing? How do you how do you play it? Is it just is it a trumpet? Is it a trombone? What is it? And even trumpet players who try to play it um, can't really seem to get it to work. Um, so I thought I'd start a YouTube series in which I introduce you to the Firebird, um, tell you some of its salient features, and uh, tell you what kind of techniques that I use to make it sound the way I make it sound. So without further ado, here is the Firebird. Uh, as you can see, it looks very much like a regular trumpet. It's got your mouthpiece, got your three valves, got a bell. The unusual thing about the Firebird is that in addition to all of that, it also has a trombone slide. I mean, you know, a trombone style hand slide. Um, works just like a just like a trombone slide. Uh, it was invented in 1983 by Maynard Ferguson, and it's actually a production horn. It's made by the Holton Company. And Maynard Ferguson, in addition to being a famous trumpet player, was also a very good trombone player. And in 1974, he contacted Holton. He talked to Larry Ramirez, one of the top design guys there. And they got together and created what was called a superbone which was a standard slide trombone with the addition of a complete trumpet-style valve block. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one of those to show to you now. Um, I used to own one a couple of years ago. But um, that was no problem. You could make a, make a standard slide trombone, add the valve block, and it's basically a combination between a slide trombone and a valve trombone with all the benefits of each one. In 1983... Uh, Maynard Ferguson again pro approached uh, Larry Ramirez and wanted to make a trumpet version of the Superbone. Now, the problem with making a trumpet with valves and a slide is that, okay, on a trombone, you actually can uh, cut off enough brass and tubing in order to put in a valve block. But on a trumpet... There's, it's, it's so small that you really can't cut off enough of the brass in order to accommodate a full seven-position trombone slide. So what they decided to do was to just make the hand slide into a three-position hand slide and keep the trumpet in B-flat. So what that means is that you, you can only go down a minor third using the slide. So let's say I start out on um, my G, my open G. I can only go down to an E. And then after that, the slide falls off. Uh, um, now, for those of you who know trumpet technique, uh, you can probably tell right away that you can you can basically play any note above the staff, any any notes starting from like an A in the staff on up, just using the slide. You know because you um, you only need those those three positions down. But for notes like A flat in the staff, E flat, you know, E flat, D, D natural, C sharp, and then of course the corresponding notes below the staff. There's no way to play that using just a slide, and you're going to have to use either the valves and the slide together or, um, or just the valves. Um, and using the valve and, valves and the slides together is actually going towards what, you know, how I use the trumpet. For example, I can play a D just using valves. Or I can play, I can finger an E flat and then move the slide down a half step. Basically the same D. Um, I can fine tune it slightly using the slide. And so that that's the Firebird. Um, the other the other thing that everyone notices is that the um, the bell is angled up. 
And it's not to make it look like a Dizzy Gillespie style horn. It's not for, um, you know, for, for show or anything. It's because if you notice right here, if the bell was not tilted, then the slide would not be able to clear the bell. So it's actually, it's actually for a very utilitarian purpose. Um, so that's it. That is the Firebird. Um, Sorry, I didn't get much of a chance to play it today, but in the next episode, I definitely will I'll get into more of the technique that I use. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time.